Good morning, everyone. Barry Lee again. This morning, I wake up extremely happy in the center of country New South Wales. If you watch carefully, you can actually see kangaroos over there. And today, I'm going to talk about the pronunciation of cities and states of Australia in Mandarin. Hello everyone, how's your weekend? It's very late again, and I'm on holiday. I feel great this morning because Sydney is raining, and our original plan for the holiday was to go to Central Coast for camping. And apparently, with this weather, it's not going to happen. So instead, we decided to go west. Now we are about eight kilometers from Genolan Caves, one of the major attractions for Sydney. So today, we're going to talk about Australia. We are going to talk about the names in Chinese for major Australian cities and the states and their important words when you try to introduce Australia to friends from the other parts of the world who speaks Mandarin. Let me start from my favorite city and the city I'm living, Sydney. So in Chinese, Sydney is Xi Ni. So it's translated apparently based on the sound. So Xi Ni is Sydney. 我住在悉尼. I live in Sydney. 我来自悉尼. I am from Sydney. 悉尼是新南威尔士州的一个城市. Sydney is the city in the state of New South Wales. And then the second largest city, Moorburn, Melbourne. Moorburn is Victoria's首府. Melbourne is the capital city of Victoria. Victoria is Australia's Victoria is a state in Australia. Brisbane, Brisbane. Brisbane is Queensland's首府. Brisbane is the capital city of Queensland. Bosse, Perth. Bosse is the Perth is the capital city of Western Australia. Adelaide, Adelaide. Adelaide is the capital city of Western Australia. Adelaide is the capital city of South Australia. Darwin, Darwin. Darwin is the capital city of Northern Territory. Hobart Hobart is the capital city of Tasmania. Last but not least, Canberra. Canberra 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 is the capital of Australia. Canberra is the capital of Australia. Now, if you notice the sentence, uh, they are all called capital cities, but capital are different in Mandarin if you are talking about the capital of a nation, which is 首都, like Canberra is the 首都 of Australia. And if you talk about the capital city of a state or district, then it's 首府. Sydney is the capital city of New South Wales. And just by this chance, let's talk about the name of a few other important cities in Australia. For example, Newcastle. Newcastle, Newcastle is in Newcastle is in New South Wales. Wollongong is in New South is also in New South Wales. Gold Coast. Gold Coast is in Queensland. And there are a lot of other cities that is beautiful and amazing, but the Chinese people don't necessarily know about them. So if you are from one of the cities that is less well known to the Chinese people, I'd encourage you to leave a comment to tell me where you're from, and I can show you how to pronounce the name of your city in Mandarin. Talking about my week, my week is awesome. Uh, I have wrapped up a major job this week and I'm going to take a whole week's leave. And the unfortunate bit at the beginning was it's, it's raining like crazy in Sydney. And uh, the weather forecast says it's going to rain for the whole week. So we had to cancel our original plan for camping. The weather here yesterday was beautiful. 
We are about 8 kilometers from Genolan Caves, so we are going to explore the caves today. And yesterday we went to Bathurst and Cora, beautiful inland cities here in New South Wales. And if you are watching from anywhere that is rainy, uh, welcome to here. Today the sky is uh, less clear than yesterday, but that's fine because we'll be in the caves, so we won't be impacted by the rain. And thank you again for watching my video. This is the first time I'm shooting outdoor. It feels different, but it feels amazing as well. We were staying at the Genolan Caves Cottage last night, only two hours from Sydney, and it's beautiful, it's quiet, and you can see all the kangaroos jumping around where you live. So if you are planning your next holiday, this is a great place to be. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you next week.